Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Toy Robot. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play. I'll be right down. Hi, Gaston. <laughs> Let's play in the meadow. <laughs> Gaston, fetch. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby. What are you doing? We're throwing sticks for Gaston. Gaston likes fetching sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Not a stick. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Strawberry. <gasps> What's that? It looks like a tin arm. Gaston, where did you find this? <laughs> wow. wow. What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh. It's a bit broken. We can mend it with magic. Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> <laughs> there! Finished! Ooh. So, will it talk? Will it make me a cup of tea? No, it's just a toy robot. It'll do this. That's a bit boring. It isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork. But there's no key. Our magic key. Oh, Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it will be fun. Mm, all right. <coughs> Shush, Gaston. <coughs> OK, let's see what happens. It's working! Master, what is your name? Ooh. Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I'm Ben Elf. Ben Elf, you are my master. We thought robots went er, er, er. to my master, Ben Elf. Robot, uh, put the fairies down, please. Yes, Ben Elf. And say sorry. Sorry. That was a bit scary. Hmm, it's not like a normal toy robot. I think my key might have made it a bit magic. But it seems to do what I say. So we should be OK. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. What do you have there? We found a toy robot. It was broken, so we mended it. Well done. Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf Factory. Hmm, it was a rather basic model. Uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon, Ben Elf. 
You talk as if it can understand. Well, it does seem to. It's just a toy robot, only capable of going... Ah, 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 ah. ah! Put me down, you silly robot. You are a rude old elf. Ooh. Robot, put the wise old elf down. Yes, bad elf. Oh, very strange. I, I don't remember the Z-33 being able to talk. It's escaping! We'd better get it back! Da-da-dum, do-da-dee-da Da-da-la-la, da-dum-dee-da Da-da-da-da, da-dee-da-dee What a beautiful sound! Da da dee dum da dum da dee da. Oh, where's it gone? Ah! That sounds like Nanny Plum. Help! Help! <gasps> Robot, put Nanny Plum down. Yes, Ben Elf. Oof! Oh, thank you, Ben. What is this thing? It's just a toy robot. But it does anything Ben says. Really? Yes, watch this. Robot, clean up the courtyard. Must clean up. Must clean up. Must clean up. It's very good, isn't it? I'd like one of those to do all my cleaning. You can Must borrow my robot up. if you want Must to. That's very up. kind of you, Ben. Must Maybe I'll borrow it just for this evening. Must OK, robot, I'm going home now. But I want you to stay here and tidy the castle. Yes, Ben Elf. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. My goodness. Must tidy What's up. this? It's Must Ben's robot. Tidy up. Nanny has borrowed it to tidy up the castle. It looks like it's doing a very good job. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Hmm. I think I prefer the traditional fairy way. Dinner time! Ah, oh, oh, dinner. dinner! Ah, I expect the robot has come to serve us our dinner. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Tidy up. Oh, tidy goodness up. me! I think we should tell this robot to stop. We can't. The robot only listens to Ben. So what can we do? Uh, Ben told the robot to tidy the whole castle. So maybe we should go to bed and let the robot finish. Good idea, Holly. The robot should have finished tidying by morning. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. What? Is it morning already? Uh. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Uh. Uh. Goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything. Yes! Including us. It's a monster. How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now. Righto. Ben, there's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Righto. Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing! And what are we? We're elves! <laughs> it's the elves! Hooray! Look! There's my robot! Ah! Put me down! Oof! Bad elf! Master! 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 Oh, it's wound down. Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, 
I think it was my magic key that did it. Oh, magic! <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? <laughs> it's the proper key. Well, well done, done, Gaston. <laughs> uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. <laughs> ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> 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 I say, I'm getting a little hungry. Me too. I think I fancy fish and chips. We don't have any fish, Your Majesty. What? No fish? But I can magic up some fish fingers. Yum, yum. I like fish fingers. No, no. I want fresh fish. Fresh from the lake, with chips. I know. Ben's dad has a fishing bite. Then we shall go and see Ben's dad. It's time we put the boat away for the winter, Ben. I'm pleased Bunty has made it through the summer with no accidents. What kind of accidents? The kind where the boat gets eaten. Eaten? Yes. Have I never told you the story of Big Bad Barry the fish? No. It was a dark and stormy night. I was sailing in my favourite boat when suddenly... A fish! A fish, Mr Elf! What's that? I want a fish for dinner, with chips. Oh, so we'd like you to take us out on the lake to catch one. I was just putting Bunty away for the winter. Who's Bunty? My boat. Well, one more trip won't do any harm, will it? I'd rather not. Um, she might get wet. Mr. Elf, your king commands you. OK. Climb aboard. <laughs> You'll have to leave your wands here. Magic isn't allowed on elf boats. And, and where else? <laughs> Let's get going. I'll do the steering. Hang on a minute. You might be king on land, Your Majesty, but on this boat, I'm the captain. So I'm in charge. All right, Captain. As long as I get a fish. Polly and Ben, wind the engine. Aye, aye, aye Captain. King Thistle, take the wheel. Okie dokie, Captain. Ho oh ho! This is fun! Turn ship to starboard. What? <sighs> Turn right. Why didn't you say so? At sea, we don't say left and right. We say port and starboard. Isn't that a bit silly? <laughs> <laughs> we'll fish from the stern. Where's that? <sighs> the back of the boat. Come with me. Fishing is a tricky business. You must have the right type of bait. What kind of bait are we using today? Stale bread. Stale bread? Who likes stale bread? Should we put some butter on it, Dad? And jam? Yes. We're not going to catch anything with stale bread, old boy. Stick a bit of jam on it. Stop! I'm the captain, so while we're aboard Bunty, we do what I say. Aye, aye, aye captain. captain! Now be quiet. Fish don't like noise. Very bossy, isn't he? This is so exciting. Shh, everybody. Now... We wait. Are you sure this is right? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let me have a go. Fine, you'll see. It takes time to catch a fish. I've caught a fish. Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. 
It was many years ago when I first met Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most giganticest fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. He ate Hilda? It sounds horrid. It was. So you built Bunty to replace Hilda? No. First, there was Doris. Then Peggy. There was Abigail, Fifi and Trixabel. Not forgetting Sabrina, Vicky and Miss Boo Boo. Barry ate them all. <gasps> I tried to catch Barry so many times, but he was always too strong. So that's where all the cheese went. In the end, I gave up. Big Bad Barry is still out there, somewhere. Ooh. Incredible! I have come to a royal decision. We must catch Big Bad Barry and have him with chips. Hooray! No, we mustn't. I don't want to lose another boat. Not Bunty. Anyway, there's no cheese on the boat. I won't allow it. Barry can smell cheese a mile away. Even a mild cheddar. Good. I've got some cheese in my picnic hamper. We can use that. Ah! Cheese on board! Quick, get rid of it before it's too late. What did you do that for? I told you. It's dangerous to have cheese on board. Luckily, I also brought a nice Stilton cheese we can tempt Barry with. No, I refuse to help. Then we'll do it without you. I'm taking charge. Hooray! Ah, it's mutiny. Mutiny on the bunty. We'll catch this Barry and have him with chips. Ben, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Holly, hold the net. Aye, aye. Here, Barry, Barry. Barry. Come on, Barry. Where are you? It's not working. Here, Barry. Come on, boy. Oh, if we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it properly. Yes. You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Big Bad Barry is too big for that rod. We'll use this rod. Wow. You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent. Now we wait, but not for long. <laughs> be eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. Start the engine. Full sail. We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. Hang on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big. He's too bad. We have to let him go. Never. Aha! He's given up. I don't think so. He's eating the line. Ah, uh, then he can have it. I give it. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah! He's eating Bunty! <laughs> Launch the lifeboat! Abandon ship! Women 
children and kings first. Oh, Bounty. Hello, everyone. The chips are ready. Where's the fish? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Big Bad Barry is eating Bounty. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, dear. Do you think Barry would like some chips with that? I think he's full. Alas, poor Bunty. I knew her well. Right. What should we have for dinner, then? I think I'd like fish fingers. With, with chips! <laughs> <laughs> Dust on the ladybird. Gaston! Are you coming out to play? <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! <laughs> hey, wait for us! Come on, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Yee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> yes, we can! <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Here, Gaston. <laughs> Clever, Gaston. Well done. Gaston, do you want to wiggle your legs? OK, on to your back. <laughs> Wiggle your legs. <laughs> Gaston loves rolling on his back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Holly, bedtime. Oh, that's Nanny Plum. I've got to go home now. Oh, but we were having such fun. Never mind. We'll meet up again tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Ben! Bedtime! Oh, that's my mum. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. Bye, Holly. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, let's go and find him. OK. Gaston, are you coming out to play? <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> Gaston's not answering. Oh. Maybe we've upset him. But we have such fun together. Yes, <laughs> like when I tip him over and he wiggles his feet. And when I ride on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think Gaston enjoys it? Hmm, perhaps he doesn't. Maybe Gaston's sad. And that's why he won't come out to play. Oh, dear. What can we do? Nanny Plum will know what to do. She knows everything about ladybirds. Good idea. Dum, da, dum, dum, da, dee, da. Da, 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 dum, da, dee, da, dee. Nanny Plum, Gaston the ladybird is not happy. Hmm. 
Ladybirds are never happy. But Gaston is our best friend. Can you do something? Please, Manny Plum, please. Oh, all right. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Nanny. Cave. And what sort of insect is Gaston? He's a ladybird. Oh, yes. Now, let's think. What's ladybird for hello? <coughs> hmm. Oh, look. The door's open. we better take a look inside. Gaston's not here. He's gone off somewhere to be sad. <coughs> No wonder Gaston is sad. No one could be happy in such a messy, smelly cave. Chop, chop. We need to clean this cave up before the ladybird returns. Yes, that will be a nice surprise. And Gaston will be happy again. <laughs> First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly. You dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> this bed is filthy. And look at all this stuff. Old food, comics, lollipops, smelly socks. Ugh. Bish, bash, bash. Dust on bed, nice and fresh. Good. Now just a final polish and we're done. when you're sad. Huh? We're really sorry about rolling you over. And riding on your back. <coughs> What's he saying, Nanny? <coughs> Ooh. Gaston says he likes it when you roll him over and ride on his back. Oh. <coughs> Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <coughs> Well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Here, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Zip zap zessy, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>
And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> 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 Yee-haw! Can't catch 